Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this deck of the woods. It surely must be. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Mexico have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. So it's away we go then. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And helps available out wide. Aderson is there to take. Alexandro. Marquinhos, Casemiro, and it's Fabinho, Fabinho goes long, loose ball, and they've been caught out here, it's a fabulous, has a pop, that's a half decent try, oh it's a very good effort, there wasn't much wrong with that at all. We're talking fine margins now. Herrera looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Casemiro gets it back. Neymar plays it out to the wing. Neymar needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Lozano gets the better of his man. Decent looking ball. Now it's Herrera. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Mexico have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. What an adventurous run from a defender. Great leap! Goal, Brazil! 
No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Firmino really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. A 1-0 lead established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Balls out on the left now. And it's Dos Santos. He's played him through. And this is Herrera. <laughs> Neymar. Brazil are in control here on the brink of half-time. Play for a throw. Lozano provides an outlet. And he's there to cut it out. Brazil have a free kick. Casemiro. Floats one over. Ochoa can claim that. And the first half is done. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Brazil come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, 1-0 maybe... Firmino! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Herrera. Dos Santos. Herrera. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Just brushed off the ball there. Brings it forward. Deftly done. Knocks it away. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? And it's Raul. Going through. Looking to get within range. Massive leap! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Herrera certainly could have and should have made more of that. And here's Raul, out to the right. Lozano is onto it and can take it up. Towering header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Now that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. But there's going to be another change here. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Dos Santos. Layun. 
Lozano. Gabriel Jesus with a delicate ball. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And it's Raul. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Uh, that looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. Here's Herrera. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Driving on, he could shoot here. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Gets his head to it! Oh, that is a terrific save! Goes for the cross, up to meet it! He scores! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Oh, the cross was inch-perfect, and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Brazil could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Done very well to intervene. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Neymar. Firmino. Dos Santos. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. He's got options out wide. Gets up to head it! Goal! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Mexico, if... And that's that. Brazil winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads, and, and the story was told in predictable.